Okay guys, first off, my cars don't have brakes, so I had to hang, up, hang them up on the wall a bit, or they just roll down. Here are our sections. This is where we have the tall columns going into the structure. It's where our flower, box, flower pot boxes are that come back to the wall, where the policeman looks over the wall and they're the cars. There's eight cars. I can't get smaller cars to make this work. I got the little scrubbies. They do work. But I want the punk shearing to happen. And this, these are scaled from the drawing up. I put cars down here also. So cars are down there because when the deck drops, it has things like, you can see the fireman with his little piggy eyes. He's standing right about there and he observes, oh, I think it's a white car here and another one here. He's only in about that much water, right about to his the, the uh, bumper. So we know that, oh, well, we know that this section survived. If you find the video, air, uh, drone videos, you'll find some rebar hanging on top of this decking here. This is where they walk out to. So the, the failure is over here in the center, what I call the butterfly puncturing. Again, because butterflying roofs or something in the 60s where water would run to the center of the roof and then off. And it had a butterfly. They called it a butterfly roof. And so I coined the term for this butterfly punk shearing since we have two directionals. And I believe that's because of the span down the middle. If this one's off a little bit. There we go. The span down the middle, right there, is where our break happens. Right on down the middle of the drape. The break happens down the middle because of the loading of the vehicles in this section here. We have our core sample and exploratory hole taken right about here at the building. That would be a building detail there. Somebody asked me to number these. Uh, well, if you can't follow that, I don't know about numbering is going to save you too much. But K, L, and M, hell, I still get them mixed up, so what's the point, you know? Just as long as you understand the intent. There's K, L, and M. Fire department represents that they didn't basically, uh, my, com my com commentary is that it was the next day you saw them get pulling people out of the structure. That's surf size representatives. That's everything from the mayor to the uh, Miami-Dade Police Department. Yes, I said surf size representative of Miami-Dade Police Department. I think they were all on the same page, and it was all about taxes, baby, taxes. And up top, we have our beautiful NIST, who, who uh, is known to destroy evidence now. In the video, we have them taking apart debris from, I believe... Uh, See, that's the flower pot. So it'll be this column here, on the right about here, you see them just tossing debris out. This is the one by the pool. This is the construction joint. If I move this part of the deck away, you'll see that right about there is where that head is, where the construction joint is. The construction joint shows itself and it goes right down the structure. I wrote construction joint here to help you understand it. There's the construction joint right there. Now hopefully you also see why I made two two videos. One the lower level where everything's down low and now this is the upper deck visual of it because it's gonna, it would be pretty hard for you to follow this companion if you will without the without the first primary uh, video that I made where it's, everything's low. Now we're transposing things to the top such as the planter box where we see it's pretty much level and kicked a bit. Now Look at the drapes. Here's your punk shearing through your columns. And I can get even more defined than that, but I don't need to because here's our huge path from here all the way up to this BMA right here. That the tributary areas are, they have to grab each other from these uh, columns. And these columns are even offset. That's again, you'd have to look at it from the drawing detail, and you would see they were offset. Part of my um, taping of the uh, decking cause you know I shifted a little bit now so as this pulls down this pulls on this BMA by default has no choice but to pull on this BMA and pull on this BMA we know we have a repair structure a repair of a BMA is supposed to take place this pin represents right about here is where they did the inspection uh, core sample right about there okay right about there and right about there is inspection hole we see one single cracked tile indicating it's coming back towards this direction. This part of the structure is pretty sound. We see again 
You look down here, you see the, you'll see some rebar hanging from this deck here, the pool deck area. So that indicates um, that this would, that this was sound at one point before the demolition started taking place. Over here we have the, the track, uh, slab drop. I gave you, de give you a detail of looking like that and taking some liberty on scaling that. But that's a slab drop. Let's go ahead and pull that off. So now as you pull it, hmm, I need that to hold up there a little bit. So as you pull that off, you now see that what's left behind is pretty stable. That would, rip, that would be pretty close to this car here, and we don't see that car crushed. We see the fireman looking through here. Don't make a move for it, Georgie. No. No. Good. Thank you. So anyway, so we have this on the ground now. This possibly shifted. It would have to shift this way. To shift that way, it would have, and it's in the U-shape. Remember the H-shape or U-shape, whatever you want. It would have to have taken this out. Taken this out would have taken this out. So if I shift it, it would have pulled that apart. So we have the pull that connected here. And as I shift this, dropping this, just dropping this down, this deck pulled back just a hair. It broke, it broke free, dropped down with the rebar holding it. So we have a slight shift identified itself of this being kicked out. And when it did that, that shifting of that action. So this is an individual action. We can see it happening down here. That could have caused a shift of the H-beam, if you will, to pull away and drop down. But it's still configured as such. And this is on the floor here. But in reality, it's up here. I, I ran out of sticks. They're very, uh, very hard to get. Well, I would have transposed that for you and shown you how that would have shifted and dropped. This is at answering the question of, when she said 611 was the wall pushing in or pushing out. Well, if we look at the video camera of the Lady Point video on the property, we don't see that wall being pushed out towards the street. So to get her crack in her wall, this wall did this, right? So it, it, it funky, did a little snake move, right? So it went like that, if you will. To get that wall, let's say this is the sixth floor right there, we would have to have had that separation going in that direction outwards. We have a floor in here, concrete, so that to get a, the, the opposing thing would be to have it cracking, pushing in. Now, looking at it from the side view, we can also have the floor sagging where she is, sagging, and that would pull it in. But again, that would require this type of action. It would have to look like this for that wall to lean square. Now we've already accelerated the brake. I don't think she would have had the minutes it took to get for her to leave. This looked like this at the time of her observation of cracks in the uh, property. Let's move away from that and back to the deck. So you can see the punk sharing the deck, the drapes, that we have alignment here. And here's our cracks here, right down the middle. We know that. That's a, you know, 100%. We see the fireman walk off here. We see the fireman walk in there. This is a known. The drape it goes up it hits vehicles right it's, it's it's some vehicles over here i believe but not all of it is vehicles this is the actual um driveway driveway so but we, we don't see tearing like we see here rebar from here tearing holding so when this drape happened it was continuous it just pulled it did not have something holding it back like this where you get some rebar tearing over here at the garage, you can find that rebar tearing here also, if you will, tearing out of the deck, with the deck being primary and holding on. We see that here, and we see that here. On the, and on, on the deck part, we don't observe separation like that out here. So as this butterfly, this pulled all the way back, from the, back to the wall. On this side around there, there's a flower pots here and flower pots here. It pulls straight down. We find we do find this one. This one's located. When you locate, so if you locate one, two, and three beams, that's one, two, and the other one behind it. If you locate all three beams from the wall, because it was connected to the wall here, if you locate one, two, and third, the third beam, that means you just recognize that the BMA across here has gone. It went down with the deck. So is this draped and went down? it pulled this down. The flower box comes down with it and it appears about, about the same level right about here. So vehicles are underneath. 
over here, the building collapses and it falls into what I call the alley because th this is the driveway. So there are no cars, more than likely no cars in that in this in this capacity here. On this back wall, we see the uh, bent deck going up. Well, they did allow parking on the back wall. So the back here's the pool. You come out and there's parking back there. So that would explain that. There's a flower planter box here that would represent why the deck cracked on this side differently on the car side. The flower panel box sticks out. So that's indicating why your, your crack is different from here than from here. So we have a crack, this one identified. Now we have our it simple pulling on the BMA just by the BMAs. By one, we see this one gone because we can see the top of this head. This one's gone, that means it's pulling on the building. Let's go ahead and give a slight, so this was up here, all this deck was up here. If I pull on this building, on this deck, it rattles the whole thing, doesn't that? Let's go back. Just that little bit. It rattles, but look, it's not primary to this deck over here. There's a shear wall that we have here inside this system. So this can shift and the, separate from that building over there. It does, do, it does do that break. So we get this going down. We get this going down and it pulls on the wall. Let's see if I can keep still. And that's all you need, that little bit of tugging. And we have one and two BMAs that this structure went around, if you will, to, it went around. So here's, here's uh, the face of the structure, the drop slab, the one foot six. It's all the way over here. This was two foot six at one point. This is not continuous. It continues to here, turns, goes this direction, comes to one foot six, I think, and then shifts again across this section here. Back into the, back across here, and then back across again, and then back into the structure. Not quite back into the structure. Because we have a, nope, nope, right about here is where we change into the, uh, the uh, right about here is where we change to the overhang, the, uh, the full foot deck for the, for, the for the other part of the structure. For the, uh, uh, where you walk out to the balconies. Okay, so much for that. Again, they don't have brakes. I don't think they meant to do that. No, lost some, uh, lost some steel. My steel is this tape. The steel is a tape and also represents the tile. Okay, so maybe we have a big car down here parked here that helps break that, break the uh, deck as it goes down and stops. Maybe there's a car underneath there, or over here to over over on this side. Maybe. This represents the bulkhead. We talked about that. This bulkhead would go all the way up to here and then concrete. This is the walkway. The walkway would come up to here. I would have done a much better job, but again, I ran out of uh, materials, and I, I spent a couple of hours yesterday looking for materials for you guys. I went to uh, three stores, and what was it four, but I, this, I got everything I could. My blocks, this is all I have left. Two blocks. So you see that I could have done better or added another stick here to bridge it or close this up with some bridging. If you see I could have done better, it's because I, I could have done better if I had more materials. That's it. I got every popsicle stick I could. I was tempted to take this apart to use it, but I think I, I think it needs to be kept present. There's an elevation change. I would put that up here for the portal going in, but again, I'm out of a, I'm out of stick, so I can't even elevate your, 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 your uh, design to help you see it better besides right here. All right, and in the video, but I hope this helps you see the path. Again, the butterflying of the deck, the punch sharing, pulls on these BMAs. And they become, the, this is the deck ledger, this is the deck ledger, if you will, how the deck is connected to the structure. Yes, it's a step up from here, and I don't have the materials to show you, a step up from here and then into the 13-4, into the coming out of room 111. Um, Charles sent me a nice image showing that you pretty much only have about a one inch step down. You guys could probably find it showing that uh, it is a one inch step down. That's probably about it before you enter the property and that's what paved because they put pavers out here. That extra pavers, the loading, 
the faulty the rebar being terrible in terrible condition the deck being on the same plane is the especially the issue because they had a a beam designed is for that car at loading area but that was removed um, it appears that the engineer didn't uh, didn't um, catch that that that's so critical or didn't think of it as critical I think it would be critical and a game changer it was a part of the original plans to have that beam the beams going here and across transferring the load from the garage to here so nevertheless it still only counted for 40 pounds per square foot so that's a major uh, that's a major uh, um, hit for here but we have a smaller and, and as far as talking about here the tributary areas are different than out here so the building out here for the cars the tributary area is there you know right from here to here that's it right, it's a smaller tributary area there the tributary area here it's pretty it's got nice columns spacing throughout here tied into the walls um, there's a wall system here this one the tributary area is huge it's almost the full length of a, a scaling you know look at my ruler the full length we don't have that beyond this point here we we come across column 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 we just don't get there that's the driving space driving area so this is where we get our stresses our car our curb weight is increased when the car puts on its brakes and backs up or accelerates or turns um, all of that is, is an issue hold on wanted to keep this video short we're about 16 minutes or so so uh love you all take care bye oh Please watch the commercials. I know it's painful, but please watch it and tell me what they are. Helps me out. Thank you.